Hey, fourth grade math, happy Monday. Here we go on page 125. Remember how to have Exito when you're doing math? Get out your book, okay? Because we're gonna do some of these together. Okay, guys, mire, 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 mire. Escuchen bien. You're getting into fractions, right? You're gonna see seeing un montón de fracciones here in your math. You gotta pay attention. You gotta focus in. Because right now, my fifth graders are going through some fractions that are crazy, and they're giving them some dolor en su cabeza, okay? But you know how we can prevent that? Or at least make it better? <laughs> Is focus now on the little stuff, okay? Focus now on the little stuff so that you're ready for the big stuff to come later, okay? The Bible talks about that too, you guys. If we're faithful in the little things, God can give us big things to be responsible for. But if we're not faithful in the little things, when big things come, we are gonna like get hit in the head and it's gonna hurt, okay? So we gotta focus in today. So that's why I only gave you half, I gave you one page. I didn't give you two pages to give you time to focus and to process, okay? so. Be faithful. Ready for this? Let's do this thing. Look at um, page 125, number one. Look at the instructions. Change these improper fractions to mixed or whole numbers. Let's remember what all those words mean. Remember, improper fractions are the fractions that have a numerator that is bigger than a denominator. The top number is bigger than the bottom number, and we can't leave it like that, okay? So we have to do what? Divide, because these also mean fractions and divide all at the same time, right? <coughs> Remember what a mixed number is, is a number that has a, a whole number and a fraction. And a whole number is just whole number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 40, okay? So all of our answers are gonna be either mixed numbers or whole numbers. I'm gonna do A, B, E, and F with you. Not A, B, C, and D with you, so pay attention. Because I want you to do this one with me. It's very important. It has a extra paso in it that I want to make sure that you understand. Okay, so here we go. What do we do? 7 divided by 4. How are we going to put that? 4 into 7, right? Keanu, how many times can 4 go into 7, buddy? 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. What are we going to do with that, Scarlett? Three is our numerator and four is our denominator. One and three fourths is your answer. You get one is your whole number, three is your remainder, and you put it as your numerator. Four is your denominator because the denominator never changes. It was four here, it's four here, okay? Look over here, letter B. Do that one in your head. Come on, do it in your head. Six divided by three, Sama, what's my answer? Two. Woo it's two, good job. Here we go, 10 divided by six. Let's do it together, six and a 10. How many times, Fernanda? One, one times six is six, four. Where am I gonna put, what am I gonna put as the numerator, Kiana? Four, and what am I gonna put as the denominator, Jayla? Six, okay, now what? Can you leave it like that? No, this, we can divide, we can have a reduced fraction. How do I know that? Michelle, so study is four and six, you can divide a number by, okay? Here, three and four, I can't divide anything by three and four that's the same, that's gonna give me less than three and four, okay? But here I can. What number could I divide by Holly? I always try two first, guys. Unless I know exactly, like, okay, it's this factor, this factor, et cetera. But if not, you can do two. So here we go, let's write our answer. One, four divided by two is two, six divided by two is three. One and two thirds. Never forget your whole number right there, okay? And go ahead and do this one in your head. I'm gonna let you answer Keanu. So that it divided by four, buddy, is three. Bye.
Bada bing, bada boom. That is it. Okay? You can do C, D, G, and H by yourself. But listen carefully. Look at my lips. Letter H, you need to reduce your answer. Just like you reduce an E. Okay? Reduce your answer. Okay. Here we go. What else are we going to work on today? Whew. Let's look at letter oh, number two. Number two. Letter A. Because really, double digit division can be sometimes a little hard, okay? And we haven't done these in a while, but now we have time. So we need to go 23 into 164. Well, first of all, let's see where our, where our first number is gonna start, okay? Where is our first number going to start? Does 23 go into just one? No! Does 23 go into 16? Does 23 go into 164? Yes. So our first number is going to start right above that 4. Okay? Well, how many times can 23 go into 164? Well, let's think about it. Let's think about it. How many times can 2 go into 16? 8. So let's try 8 first. Okay? Here we go. 8. I'm going to put my 8 down here so I can multiply. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 2 is 18. So is 8 the right answer? No, it's not. Okay, because 184 is bigger than 164. How am I going to subtract that? I can't. Okay, so let's change it. Let's go down one. So what are we going to put there instead, Sama? 7. Okay, here we go. 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. Is that better? Oh, much better. 164 minus 161. Fernando, what's my remainder? 3. Good job, Chica. And 3 is your remainder. It says in the instructions, divide and check. So how are we going to check it? 23 times 7. 23 times 7. 7 times 3, piano? 21. 7 times 2, Scarlet? 14. Plus 2, Scarlet? 16. Plus 3, Kiana, what's my answer? 164. So am I right, Kayla? Oh, happy day. I'm like super right. Okay? Do you want to do another one? Go ahead and try letter B by yourself and we're going to check it. Go ahead and try letter B by yourself. I'll wait for you. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, 41 into 168. If you're like, Michelle's got not done yet, stop the video, finish it, and then check it with me. Okay? Here we go. Let's figure out first where are we going to put the first number. Can 41 go into 1? No. Can 41 go into 16? Tampoco. Can 41 go into 168? Oh, yes. So we're going to put our first number there. How many times does 41 go into 168? Well, the question is, how many times can 4 go into 1? It can't. How many times can 4 go into 16, then? What do you think, Sama? 4 times. Good job. I'll put that 4 over the 8. 4. Me 1 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Is that a good number, then? Fernanda, is that a good number? Yeah, because 164 is less than 168. But what is 168 minus 164, Kiana? Four. Good, good, good. So your remainder is four. Did you check it? I hope you did. 41 times four. Let's do it. Four times one, Jayla. Four. Four times four. Holly? 16. Plus 
four for your remainder, 168. So are we ready to print on that? Oh, happy day. We are super, super right, okay? Guys, look at number three. Don't look at the instructions. I don't like them. They're not very nice, okay? Just do your multiplication, and you only have to do letter C, D, and E because the book did A and B for you. So I guess we can say thank you to whoever made the book. I don't know. Okay, but try letter C, D, and E. And then on number four, guys, guess what? I'm not gonna help you help you on those word problems because they are easy. You guys gotta be careful. There's one that says average, and average is dos pasos. Remember what your dos pasos are for average? Add and divide. The rest I can't tell you. Okay, have fun. Let me know if you need any help. I'm going to check in if you try it on those word problems. Bye, have a good day.